want to share my thoughts about um what's been going on with my life even though it's not really a big deal i really just use this platform just to vent i gotta keep it real you know just have a little something on the side watch back and just think about the shit that i've been through oh here we go again yep. all right we're good but yeah um so recently i got I found me a great job starting pay at a really good, um, good starting amount that most people don't even start out with in the warehouse industry. Me being me, I just, I just found a reason to just throw it out the window like it was nothing. Like it wasn't even a big deal. Like, don't get me wrong, I can find another warehouse job doing a similar work and maybe a couple dollars more. But there was something about this warehouse that, that really stuck to me. And I would say their values and the people that carry those values in that company. Like, one of their models is we treat our employees like they're our family members. Like, I know what you're thinking. Most people be like, why would they say that? Oh, you're not supposed to have, you're not supposed to mix family and business together. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to have any of that, you know, politics and shit, but excuse my language. But yeah, uh, I started working there for about a couple months and, and it was pretty good. Like I learned a lot while I was working there. I work with, um, not to sound racist or anything, but I'm going to be honest with you. Most of my coworkers were 98. Well, I work with, I worked with black people. There was probably like maybe two or three white people in that whole facility. And you know, you know, right. That those white people were definitely in office people and the people working or the workers, like somebody like me were black people. And I didn't have anything wrong with that because like, coming from somebody who grew up around people in general. I mean, not a lot of mixed race, mostly majority of white and black and being around racist people. It didn't really bother me because people are people at the end of the day. You should really judge somebody by their character and their actions. When I say actions, I'm saying like, how does a person respond to a problem instead of acting on emotion instead of logic that's when i say judge somebody by their actions not somebody by like who makes bad decisions bad decisions can be anybody that's just a mistake anybody can learn from that it don't matter who you are it just takes self-discipline and maybe some maybe some long-term thinking down the road but yeah you get the point but so yeah I'm working here and I'm most of my coworkers are black. We're having a good time. It's a team environment. I learned a lot of new things from different people. It's it's crazy to believe that it was probably one of the most comfortable, most comfortable warehouse jobs I've ever had. And and I, I forgot to mention too, I work with women, so you know, you know how it be. But me being me. I'm not kind of not used to that environment. The last time I worked with women, it always ended up being some type of drama, some hostility, just something they didn't like about me or they, or yeah, just something they didn't like about me to the point where they wanted to get rid of me and not, and not want me around them. Like I was a bad person, even though in my opinion, if I had to describe myself from an outside perspective, I was that quiet, timid dude who just did his job and went home. I talked to a few people, but I didn't really have like, like full blown deep conversations because I knew I had to get my shit done before I can do any of that stuff. So yeah, it, that's, that's the type of person I was at work. And uh, I ain't trying to brag here or anything, but I had, I had, you know, a few little here and there choosing signals. I'm not saying I'm not no player or anything, but shit, I'll tell you this. I wore, I wore six, I wore, I wore six outfits 
that I don't even give a damn about. And they were basically my junk clothes I wore to work, or as I call it, my work uniforms. And all through this time of these couple months, I would always get constant attention from the same females or sometimes even new females wearing the same things every single week. This made me realize that women are not really looking at a materialistic level to a certain degree. Certain women are. I'll throw it out there. But most women are really looking for an interesting conversation. And if you look approachable, then they might shoot their shot. As in shoot their shot, they'll give you like hints and signs. Not like blatantly, but let's just put it this way. If somebody doesn't want to mess with you, they won't show it to you. If they'll mess with you, they'll either be in a positive way or a negative way. It just doesn't matter. They will mess with you because they have some type of interest in you. And that's what I've realized while working at this warehouse job. It don't matter the race, um, the color, what they look like, this and that. If they have some type of interest in you, they will find a way to mess with you. And this is where I get to the point where I say to myself, I didn't know what was going on. Like I said, if I had to judge myself from an outside perspective, it would be a timid quiet person who just doing his job slowly come to find out i try to get all of these girls numbers once i left none of them texted me back and i'm i'm fine with that and let me tell you why i'm fine with it. i'm fine with that because i understand that to them they see that as like like, I'm a failure because I can't keep a job. To me, I see it as like, oh, you just being lame now. Like, you just being all cool. You trying you try to mess with me at work. But now since I'm not, I don't go to that job no more, I'm, I'm not valuable. It makes sense to a certain degree that I'm solely accepting, but it makes sense. And I'm, I, I don't I don't doubt them at all. Because if I was in their shoes, I'd be doing the same thing. But yeah, what I've learned through this warehouse job that I just recently came upon and got rid of because of my dumb mistakes is that no matter where you are, if you, if you were found attracted by a woman, she will come to you and mess with you somewhere or another. I don't know about real life, though, like grocery stores. And that, that that depends though. That really depends, cause from way how I see it, most women usually just be around you. They don't really say anything like, "Oh hey, your shoes untied." Oh um, hey uh, that's an ugly shirt. Like it just, it it don't work like that in real life, I guess. But at work, I guess it's different. And I've come to realize this, that wherever you are, just take your chances. It don't really matter what could um what could be the outcome at the end of the day just know that if you respond and it's your choice then there should be no reason to regret it in the long run because you know deep down you probably won't ever see him again or you probably won't have this job again but just know you got to learn from you got to learn from this situation either way so yeah it's my two cents I'll catch y'all later.